Got a live picture now from San Jose where the Sharks throw in a free party in the street as the playoffs get started tonight. You can see all the excitement. Ooh, as we go into the mouth of the shark. This is right outside SAP Center. They got a DJ, food trucks, face painters, and that giant inflatable shark head for selfies. Fans hoping that the sharks put their best fin forward tonight. We win tonight, but I'd like to see a, a sweep in the series. You like to see a sweep? I'd like to see a sweep. Okay, all right. Payback from last year. Yes. <laughs> And then later for the away games, fans can enjoy the playoff action on a 33-foot portable TV screen on Autumn Street, of course, depending on the weather. KPX 5's Dennis O'Donnell joins us live from the SAP Center with a preview of tonight's game. Hey, Dennis. Hey, Dennis. hey guys, I don't know who's writing your scripts, but best fin forward. That's an Emmy award-winning script right there. Uh, yeah, listen, the Golden Knights were the uh, Cinderella story of the entire NHL a year ago. But for the Sharks, they were a nightmare. And the theme in that locker room right now is revenge. Anytime you get beat out by a team, it's obviously going to stick uh, with you. So um, obviously this is a chance for redemption. 2016, the Sharks won and only Stanley Cup final appearance, and they lost. And so their latest quest for that elusive Stanley Cup begins anew against the team that beat them in the second round last year. Obviously, there are two teams that, uh, you know, we're not going to be inviting each other over for uh, Sunday night dinner. We worked hard. We're in the playoffs. You know, am I happy we're playing Vegas? You know, <laughs> good team. The Knights added three key new faces in Max Pacioretty, Mark Stone, and Paul Statsny. And the scary thing is... I think they're deeper offensively than they were a year ago. The Sharks were 21st in the NHL in team defense. So the key to sweet revenge? The biggest thing has been handling the momentum, you know, of getting behind against them. I thought this year we did a better job of not letting uh, some of those games run away from us at different points where in the past uh, maybe we have. Game one tonight, Alan Veronica feared the fin. In San Jose, Dennis O'Donnell, KBIX 5.